how to set up Google AdSense latest auto ads. Once you're logged into your Google AdSense account, press on auto ads and now you have option in 2018 to take advantage of this auto ads. Now, what you can do, surely explore the menu options to see how they're going to look like and depending on the ones that you want to choose, you can select or unselect any of them. Remember, these are global settings. So in this video session, I'm going to show you how you can add these auto ads for your WordPress site. Once you're happy with all the changes, save changes, press on set up auto ads, press on copy code snippet, or you can highlight, right click and copy. When you log into your WordPress dashboard, find Appearance menu option, then press on Editor. Depending on the theme that you're using, it may give you the ability to modify header.php file. Now, before you modify this file, I strongly encourage you to highlight everything here, as in select all, control A, control C, and then make a local backup of this file. Also, while here, before we insert Google AdSense auto ads, remember that you should actually be able to log into your web hosting manager just in case something goes wrong with your web site. Okay? Keep that in mind. Now, header.php file will have a code usually end of head portion as I zoom in you can see this that means you can make room just some empty room and paste Google AdSense auto ads code and then what you want to do is remove previous Google AdSense code from your website whether you use plugins to insert that whether you use manual functions to insert that because auto ads are a replacement to previous Google AdSense ads okay now as long as this file is above and within the head portion of HTML all you then need to do is update file and then what this auto ads does is actually takes control over your um, layout so to speak to showcase ads wherever the Google AdSense algorithms believe the ad should be shown. As you can see, there is one on top, there is one on the right hand side on my setup, and there is some in between, and here, and even on the footer section. So auto ads actually create this automatically without you doing anything. I think it simplifies delivery of ads furthermore it uses machine learning as well so if you want to try out auto ads remember whatever Google AdSense code you were using before you need to remove that surely keep a backup of it or you can always access that through Google AdSense interface and then place that code within the head portion of HTML which is usually located in header.php file. But remember, whatever you do, make sure you can access your web hosting manager. And then you have access to wp-content, themes folder, and the theme that you're using, which will have that header.php file, whereby you could easily insert the same code using this file from your web hosting account because basically you're modifying the same file. Now, before we close up, I'll show you a couple of different methods to insert this ad, because on my homepage, I don't want to show any ads. So how can I control that? I can control that by using certain PHP code. Now, at this stage, if all this code stuff sounds complicated for you you don't want to learn that then you can 
simply hit close this video and perhaps watch some other ones okay but i think this will definitely be of help it's actually a smart and easy way for you to control where your auto ads are showing instead of showing them everywhere for a typical wordpress so therefore if we were to insert code like this we say okay you know what google adsense only show auto ads for my blog posts if you want to do that then we simply use this here but if we then say okay you know what okay this is the correct format sorry if is single function that means show my ads only on single blog posts we can do something like this press double end and then exclamation mark for negation operator and say if is front page function that means do not show this code which is the auto ads from google adsense on the front page what if then you say okay you know what i also don't want to show the ad on my contact page we can say negate is page and say contact if your contact page was named contact okay what if you say you know what i don't want to show my ads on category pages tag pages as well then you can keep doing n is category and is tag page you surely need to negate that so basically when you negate it you're saying if it is not these then show and if it is only is single which is the blog posts that you have and then as long as that google auto ads is wrapped within these php codes for wordpress then you can control where the ads are showing instead of showing them throughout your entire website keep in mind that google adsense also gives you opportunity to create new url groups whereby you can accomplish something similar but i think this is actually a smarter way to control how your ads are shown for a typical wordpress setup but surely if you have a very large website with many different categories then you can actually create new url groups to show different ad formats according to your wordpress setup i thank you very much for learning with me if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and i'll talk with you in the next video session